Having safe drinking water is something we may take for granted, but a new study shows we shouldn't. The U.S. Geological Survey says a high percentage of tap water may contain forever chemicals. For several years, we've been reporting on that very issue along the Cape Fear River in North Carolina, but we're learning more about the fact that that area is not unique. Several years ago, the Camores plant in Cumberland County was found to have been leaching forever chemicals into the groundwater and Cape Fear River. Since then, efforts have been underway to stop that from happening and to make sure the water that is supplied to hundreds of thousands of people is free of it. And the problem with these chemicals is they're nicknamed forever chemicals because their lifetime in the environment is thousands of years. They don't degrade. So it's that combination of a to toxicity and longevity that make them really concerned. The chemicals, also known as PFAS, have typically been used to make nonstick cookware and in firefighting foam. A new national study by the U.S. Geological Survey found 45% of U.S. taps could potentially be contaminated with at least one PFAS, including sites tested in central North Carolina. Kelly Smalling is the lead author of the study. Broadly across the U.S., um, we saw a clear relationship between PFAS concentrations in our tap water samples that were in urban areas or in areas with um, potential sources like industry, airports, military installations. Uh, wastewater treatment plants, etc. The study found roughly the same amount of contaminants in well water as it did in water supplied by a local utility. UNC chemistry professor Frank Liebfarth is the co-director of the NC Pure program, which is working to develop PFAS remediation strategies at three North Carolina water treatment facilities. I've been saying for the last few years, where you test for it, you typically find it. Um, and, you know, I think this report uh, really brings that statement home. The USGS is only providing scientific data and does not make policy recommendations. But Smalling hopes the study will raise public awareness. Like, we really hope that folks can use this information. Um, they can use it to become informed. Um, and if they have questions about the safety of their drinking water, um, we encourage folks to reach out to their public health officials locally. Um, to talk about potential testing or treatment or, or things to that matter. Put pressure through advocacy groups on your legislators and representatives and water utilities. Many of these are public utilities, right? They will respond to the voice of the people. Uh, and you have uh, typically a large hand uh, in being able to make sure that the water uh, you drink and use is clean. So, Russ, is there a way people can see where these places are? Yeah, you can get a general sense. I put the link to that interactive map that you saw in that mm -hmm. story right there on at the story on CBS17.com. And if you want to read that full report by USGS, I put that there for everyone as well.